Ian Hart of Italy, following out the Canadian. And the Hungarian there is uh, Kun Balint, followed by Nicholson of Canada. Eight heats then, 1,000 meters. The first two go through into the quarterfinals. Nine laps of the track. Ballant, semi-final in the European Championship. Just over a month ago. Hugo Herrenhoff, wearing 35 for Italy. Third in the European Championships recently, and in the World 1500 meters. So the lineup from the inside: Nicholson, New Zealand; Danio of Canada; Valent of Hungary; Ernhoff, nearest the camera of Italy. Nine laps of the track. Ready. The first two sure to go through. The sprint start, rather like a running start, then gliding into the bend. The Hungarian Ballant now in front. In second place, Danio. Third is Nicholson. And fourth at the moment, the Italian Ern Hop. Watch uh, Danio. Danio goes hard on the inside, trying to establish himself. Followed by Hernhoff. And coming up on the outside is Nicholson now. Nicholson making a break wide. He surprised the Canadian then. It's Nicholson now, New Zealand. Danio in second place. The Italian Hernhoff is third. And fourth, the Hungarian Ballant. That was a real break by the young New Zealander. But Danio's very experienced. Still Nicholson leading and getting a go on the inside is Hernhoff. And Danio now in third place. They come round with four to go. Nicholson leads for New Zealand. In second place, Hernhoff for Italy. Third is the... Uh, Danio, the Canadian, one of the favourites. Got to go to get him the first two to qualify, and there he goes on the outside, but there's no room. Got back on the inside, though. Into second place. Inhoff leads Italy. Two to go. The Canadian, Danio, in second place. Nicholson is third. The race between those three, two will qualify. This time, they should hear the bell. Danio giving himself plenty of room, trying to block the New Zealander going up on the outside. And there goes Danio, Canada. Danio comes home in front, and in second place, the Italian head. Nicholson and Ballant go out of the competition. The time, 133.23. Well, Danio's placed his marker down already. He, without any doubt at all, one of the danger men. Remember, he was second to a rally four years ago in the demonstration event. The world record holder at 1,500 metres. Nicholson there put them under pressure, though, very early on. The time, 133.23. The world record, by the way, is 131.80. Held by someone you're going to see in the second heat, Kawasaki of Japan. Set in 1990. Danio, 25. Been skating since, uh, in short track since he was 12 years old. And incidentally, mums and dads watching at home and youngsters, there's a very strong peewee circuit in Great Britain. I, I went to Solly Hill to see some of them in action the other week. The helmets are bigger than the children in some cases, but my word, do they go. So we come to the second heat. Nicky Gooch, only 19, comes from Roehampton. Fifth in the European Championship 1500, but this the biggest occasion of his life. That's the lineup Kawasaki, the world record holder on the inside, Elva Bakken of Norway, Nicky Gooch, Great Britain, and Blackburn, the promising Canadian. In fact, I think a lot of him and a couple of big Canadian names have been left out of their team. To some people's surprise, Blackburn brought in at the age also only 19. Elva Bakken of Norway. He's 21. Kawasaki is 27. The world champion in 1990, the world record holder. Just checking on the draw, Kawasaki. 
according to my draw, should be on the inside. Well, Blackman seems to have gone in there. Kawasaki in two. Nicky Goots right on the outside. According to the official draw, was in third place. Outside draw is not a good one. Instead of it's the uh, Norwegian Elverbacker who goes out in front. Kawasaki is tucked in at the back. Blackman of Canada in second place. Nicky Gooch, Great Britain third. And the world record holder Kawasaki in fourth place. So it's Norway one. Canada two. Britain three. Japan four. No signs of any attack so far. Nicholson took it on last time for New Zealand, but nobody seems to want to take this on. They've got six laps left. Alba back and leading. Blackman in second place. Gooch is third. Kawasaki four. Kawasaki's got a tremendous change of speed, though. Five laps left. And they're speeding up now. And it was the Norwegian in front who speeded it up. Trying to take it by surprise. There goes Blackman, though, of Canada with four laps left. Alba back in second place. Gooch goes out of the second place. Kawasaki, the world record holder, at the back in fourth place at the moment. And Gooch has gone. He's hit the barrier and he's out of the race. It's Blackman Canada leading. Kawasaki of Japan in second place. These two well clear now and look certain to qualify. Two laps left. Nicky Gooch has picked himself up looking very disconsolate. This time the bell. Blackman leads for Canada. Kawasaki of Japan. World champion two years ago. The 19 years old Canadian leading the world record holder. They come home safely, shake hands with all the time in the world. And Nicky Gooch skates down the back straight just ahead of him. A lonely figure, very disappointed indeed. But it's a physical sport. There's bound to be contact on those short bends, unless the contact is uh, seen to be unfair. There's no question of any reinstatement. Well, everything they said about this young Canadian turned out to be right. Freddie Blackburn, three years in international, preferred the place of some of his more experienced teammates. There's Nicky Gooch, just out of shot, going up into second place, starting to lose it, and nobody else was involved. I come now to the third heat, 29 there is Matt uh, Jasper, only 19 for Great Britain. Second in the World Championship last year behind uh, Wilf O'Reilly. Time a lot slower, of course, in that second one with them being able to cruise in, 138.66. Fastest time so far was in the first heat by Danio Canada, 133.23. But time totally unimportant now, it's just a matter of qualifying. To the start, number 18, Dimitri Erchoff, Equipe Unified, Unified Team, of Japan, number 56, fell in uh, his semi final four years ago. Jasper, People's Democratic Republic of Korea, number 29, there they say, to the Wilf O'Reilly crowd. Great Britain, only 19, it's 5 foot 8, weighs about 11 stone, ideally built. Japan. Number 18 is Erchoff, the only uh, unified team entrant in the men's events. 56 is uh, Won Ho Lai, the People's Republic of Korea. It's Northern Korea. But in Olympic language, PRK. The first two qualify nine laps, 1,000 meters. Fault start. This time they get away. 56 in the lead straight away is Lai of uh, Northern Korea. Jasper in second place. Going up on the outside and coming around is Kawhi of Japan. Warring number 40. Kawhi leads. Lion second place, Jasper is third, and Erchev of the unified team in fourth place. And there goes Erchev a bit early this time, he's gone from last to first. Erchev leads. 
Hawaii still in second place for Japan. Third is Lai of Korea. And on the outside, coming right through, trying to get a better position is Jasper. There's a lot of uh, boxing going on there, and nearly a bump. And number 40 got taken out. That was Kawaii of Japan. Lost a lot of ground. Five laps left. Leader, Edshop, Soviet Union. Jasper for Great Britain in second place. Lai is third for North Korea. Still trying to make up ground is Kawaii. Edshop leads. Jasper in second place, looking comfortable. Right behind him is Lai of Korea. Three laps to go, and Jasper goes into the lead. He found a gap on the inside, and he's gone for it. Lai in second place. Edshop, United team in third place. The three clear of the Japanese, who's given up practically. And now it's Jasper and Lai. It's breaking clear of Edshop. As they come round to the bell, and Jasper, 19 years old, going for it hard. And they've got right away from Edshop. Jasper leads for Great Britain. In second place, Lai of the People's Republic of Korea. They qualify. The time, 136.86. Very composed piece of skating by young uh, Matthew Jasper. Comes from Draycott in Derbyshire. Reached the semi-finals of the 500 and the European 1,000 metres. Second in the World Championship last year, which showed his promise behind Wilf O'Reilly. And he was certainly not unsettled by Olympic competition. We're looking for gaps here. Look at the clash between the Korean and the Japanese. The Japanese came off worst. They look for space down the straights. Well, now we come to the fourth heat. Only three in this. But a strong three. Blanchard of uh, Belgium, Velzibor of Holland, Nizielski of Australia. Number Jasper just comparing notes. Number 56 is disqualified for charging. I'll we'll be well pleased with the control he showed in that first round. Get ready to go to the heat box. Mark Lackey, Canada. Canada. Andy Gable, Etats Unis d'Amérique. A little bit of uh, water of being placed on the bends in particular. Korea. Korea. Number six is Blanchard when you spot him. Velzibor wears 48. Blanchard, Belgique. Nizielski wears number five for Australia. Number 48. Mark and incidentally, we've just heard that uh, the uh, Lai has been disqualified for elbowing the Japanese, who still goes out, but Urchoff now moves into second place. So Jasper and Urchoff are the qualifiers. Lai was disqualified for that bump when he took the Japanese out. A few arguments about that, because they've got to keep looking for room on the inside. The Australian, Izielski. Three going, there's two qualifying. The leader straight away, the big Belgian. Blanchard, one of the favourites. The European champion at 1,500 metres. Third in the World Championship 12 months ago. Blanchard leads. Second place, Belzibourg. His two sisters will be skating later in the 500 metres. And Monique is Wolfo and Riley's girlfriend. And uh, O'Reilly trains on the Velsibor's farm quite often over there. Does a lot of his uh, groundwork. Pounding around the farm fields. So it's Velsibor now in front. Blanchard in second place. Nizielski of Australia is a barman, by the way. In third place. Australia won gold in the uh, World Championship relay in 1991. And he was a member of their team. Both New Zealand and Australia developing good young athletes in this sport. Four laps to go. Velzibor leading. Blanchot in second place. The Australian looking for space on the inside. It's not there. And Blanchot found it when Velzibor went wide. And Velzibor back on the inside, though, trying to get it there. And it's very close, but no contact. Blanchot leads. Velzibor in second place. Nizielski third for Australia. This time they'll hear the bell. 
Longshore leads, Belsey Ward second, Zielski third, two to qualify. The battle for space is on, but the Australian can't get anywhere at all. Try to come through, but uh, Blanchard and uh, Velsibor, the two qualifiers. 138.74, not very fast. The first one, won by Danio, still the fastest, 133.23. It's a good effort by the uh, young Australian, who's not too experienced at this level, but nevertheless stuck with two of the best skaters in the competition. But he just couldn't find any room at all on the inside. Always looking, always pressing. Belgium. But they were too experienced. Blanchard's 25. He fell in his quarterfinal of the European uh, 1000 meters a month ago, won by Wilf Ferrari. Number 30. Willie O'Reilly, the Grand Bretagne. Great Britain. Jay Kun Song, the Corée. Korea. Start, please. Look at the Australian there trying to find room on the inside, but they, they just closed him down. Blanchard in front of him on the far side, and Belsibor, who's next to him. The Australian dives for the line and doesn't make it. Well, now, heat number five. It's a confirmation of uh, heat four. Heat five will be Lackey of Canada, Gable, United States, and Lee of Korea. Both Lackey and Gable have skated in this arena before, the pre-games uh, warm-up competition. And I think they tied for first place in the 500 meters. It was in December or perhaps late November. Andy Gable, the top American. On the inside, and Lee of Korea. Ready. And there's the camera, Lackey of Canada. Very unsteady. It was the American Andy Gable on the inside who got problems. Come on. It's a pretty strong uh, first round, this one. Gable, the American number one. Lackey. 89 world champion at 500 meters and Lee of Korea, the world champion currently at 1500 meters. Very easy start though, Andy Gable leading. It's taken on the outside by Lackey of Canada. It's Lee of Korea waiting at the back. America leads, Canada in second place. Korea third, and they're just gliding. Six hundred meters left. Gable America now attacks. Lackey of Canada goes with him. And Lackey gets somebody inside. Lackey Canada leads. Gable in second place. The world champion of fifteen hundred meters, Lee of Korea, is third at the moment. And Gable's lost his place completely. Look at the uh, Korean on the inside, attacking all the time. And Gable's getting back. Tremendous American support, and the markers flying all over the place there on that bend. Lee leads. Lackey goes for it now, the Canadian. Canada in front, Korea second, Gable America third. This time the bell is still Lackey leading. Lee second, Gable in trouble in third place. The final bend. Lackey. He's going to be first across. Lee in second place. Lackey, the American number one, goes out in the very first round. There was a bit of contact during the race. The markers went flying. They're like little ice hockey pucks. But, uh, Gable came off worse and couldn't really get back in the race. Mark Lackey, 24. Number 16. Mark Lackey, Canada. This is where the uh, action Korea. took place. Number 45. On the last Korea. bend, the and the American realizes it's not his day. 
Wilf O'Reilly, the world champion, the European champion, going now for Britain in heat number six. Get ready to go to the heat box. Ki Hoon Kim, Korea. Korea. May have been a little bit of pushing in that uh, previous race, but so far no signs of a, a complaint. Japan. Au départ, s'il vous plaît. To the start, please. Le numéro 17. Number 17. Yuan Li Li, République Populaire de Chine. And the news is that Gable has been disqualified, we believe, for pushing. But in fact, of course, he didn't qualify anyway. Uh, I think I caught that on the PA. Number 47. Yes, he has. So Gable didn't qualify in any case, and Lackey and Lee go through. Well, now the Wolf O'Reilly race. And in this, we've got uh, Liani Li, or Lai of China, Wolf O'Reilly, and Song of Korea. O'Reilly won two gold medals when there were demonstration sports four years ago. Remember the Mohawks Club in the Midlands? No doubt his uh, coach Bob Copeman does so much valuable work as well with the Birchfield Harriers. A big glue to the set. Told to relax and just uh, go back and line up again. The referee, by the way, is uh, Kenneth Pendry of Great Britain. Il est demandé que les ramasseurs de plots remettent de l'eau sur cette piste. It's a slight hold. Some water needed on uh, one of the bends, I think. The delay is due to the track stewards That's who are the, uh, on the ice in order to keep it clean for the skaters. The pushing occurred, perhaps there was the ice was cut up a little bit. Try to keep a clean surface for the skaters. Mr. Pendry is saying he's happy now. And the three skaters are called back to the starting line. Will Ferrari. 27. Holds the UK record at 400, 500, 1,000 at 3,000 metres. Oh, O'Reilly got a brilliant start there. He left them for dead. He's gone right away from them. They're taken completely by surprise. The Korean now in second place. Song has started the chase, but already Lie of China is in some trouble. O'Reilly's not really taken too much advantage of that. But he started so quickly. He's a very good starter indeed. Max not taking too much out of himself. He's also got a very good change of speed. So, the Korean and the Chinese back in contention. O'Reilly's so relaxed. attack now just speed it up slightly four laps to go the Korean went with him song yeah, no. speed it up on the bend but glides down the straight really made an effort to get away song in second place Lai is third two laps to go O'Reilly starting to wind it up some bumping behind him the Chinese got squeezed out this time they hear the bell and it's O'Reilly leading. Song in second place. O'Reilly out of trouble in front. Trying not to let a gap appear on the inside. He succeeded. And quite a finish there. The Korean got across in second place, but was the Chinaman unfairly blocked? One thirty-seven point three six for O'Reilly. Led all the way. Just did what he had to do and no more. This is where the trouble occurred. Well, Song is given second place at the moment. Get ready to go 
possibly decided that Lai of China was looking for a gap that didn't exist. So, uh, Great Britain with two through. Unfortunately, Nicky Gooch fell. Matthew Jasper and Wilfo Rowley into the quarterfinals. Well, it's a really exciting sport, and that continues on Thursday. Now, the ice hockey has reached the quarter-final stage. From now on, it's a knockout. New full sport of uh, short track speed skating. The two men in question, Wilf O'Reilly and Matt Jasper, can they get through to the final first, and can they get amongst the medals? We go live now to Albertville and David Coleman. Where at the moment we're on a tourist trip, uh, looking around the uh, snow scenes at the various venues. And by the way, Jasper has drawn in the first of the quarterfinals, Wilf O'Reilly in the second. So far, the ice hall itself, not very full, but people flocking in all the time, but a very, very strong contingent of British supporters. Tonight in the uh, men's 1,000 metres, we've got the quarterfinals, the semifinals and the final. And the other event, the semifinals and final of the women's 3,000 metre relay. That's the uh, ice hall where we're reporting. The five Olympic rings linking the five continents and encompassing the colours of every nation and every nation's flag in the world. did get a little question from a young man about uh, the fact that uh, a certain nation's flag was uh, not red. In fact, he suggested it was uh, another colour, but there are in general terms that loosely uh, taken as the five colors that represent that are represented in every flag in every nation in the world the gleaming surface of the Alberville ice rink this is the Olympic Haller I have to say that Jasper Matt Jasper only 19 member of the Nottingham Club he comes from uh, Draycott in Derbyshire has got a terrible draw Danio was the fastest man yesterday, the Canadian. He's the world record holder for 1,500 metres. Ishihara is the world record holder at 3,000 metres. And Lee of Korea is the world champion at 1,500 metres. So there, the 19-year-old, tipped as the successor to uh, Wilf O'Reilly, has got a major problem straight away. You couldn't have a more difficult draw than that. By comparison, the other draws are much more straightforward. Lots of uh, national support around. The Koreans with a strong contingent. And of course, their main interest is in this first quarterfinal and in the third. The French are here tonight to support the women's relay team. Number 29, Matt Jasper, 19. Won his semi-final yesterday, second in the World Championship last year in Sydney. Eighteen there uh, is uh, Etchoff, who's in the second heat. Koreans warming up for the appearance of Yoon, Yoon Ho Lee. So the introduction. And skating onto the ice, we've got the uh, chief referee, who for the men's events is an Englishman, Ken uh, Pendry. That's Macmillan, the New Zealander, who made such an impression yesterday. Fourth in the World Championships. Uh, last year. The mark is being placed out, almost like... Uh, Ice hockey pucks. And if they take now by a skater, there are marksmen around who get them back very, very quickly indeed. Ishihara there of uh, Japan, the world record holder at 3,000 meters. 
Tatsuyoshi Ishiyaha, Japan. A tremendous atmosphere building in the uh, arena for this new Olympic event. Korea. 45, Yoon Ho Lee, the Korea. Get ready to go to the heat box. The 1991 overall Canada. world champion. That's uh, taking points at each of the distances. Matt Jasper looks very relaxed. He's certainly growing in stature all the time. Skated really well yesterday to qualify. Took charge. Danio, second uh, four years ago when this was a demonstration event, the Canadian. Fastest time yesterday in the first heat, 133.21. The world record, 131.80, held by Kawasaki of Japan. Lee, the world champion of 1,500 metres, fell on the final bend in the Calgary fi final in this event, won by Wilf O'Reilly. He's 26. Jasper, by far the youngest in this uh, heat. In fact, the second youngest in the quarterfinals. We've got a 17-year-old appearing later on for China, but uh, Jasper at 19, the second youngest. 1,000 metres, this track, a fraction over 111 metres. So they circuit the track nine times. Lining up now. Referee Mr. Pendry having a word with the uh, officials. On the inside, we've got Lee of Korea, then Ishimara of Japan, Danio, the Canadian, nearest the camera with the worst draw right on the outside is Jasper, and the draw is important to try and get a position into this first bend. They start like uh, sprinters in a track event, running for the first eight, nine strides, and then glide run up to uh, first bend, but it's important to hit it right. The quarterfinals of the Olympic 1,000 metres. This the first. Nine laps. Oh, and uh, Jasper got a very good start from the outside. But straight away it's Danio, the Canadian who goes in front. Jasper's lost his place, back in fourth place now. Danio leads. Coming up on the outside is the Japanese, going very fast indeed, Ishihara. This is going to be a quick one, they're really setting a pace right from the start. Ishihara leads, Danio in second place. Then Lee of Korea and Jasper right on the outside, trying to look for space. Closed back in on the bend there, but can't find a way through. Ishihara in front with six to go. Coming up on the outside now is Lee, the Korean, just chops the Japanese slightly. Danio Fernrun on the inside, he goes into second place. And Jasper looking for room on the inside. Has he got it? Yes, he has. He's got it to third place now. And number 39, Ishihara, the world record holder at 3,000 metres, is trailing at the moment. Lee of Korea leading. Danio in second place. Jasper Great Britain third. The first two qualify. Three to go. And it's still Lee of Korea in front. Danio in second place. Jasper, oh, he missed it on that bend. He went very, very wide indeed. And surely he's lost his chance of qualifying. Lee of Korea leading. Danio in second place. Ishihara comes through to third. And Jasper fights him off. But uh, the Japanese and the Britain with real problems. The leading two well away. And they come in now to finish. And these two qualified. Lee of Korea. Daniel of Canada. Jasper in third place, Ishihara fourth. It was always going to be difficult. The time, 133.59, not quite the fastest time, which was set yesterday by uh, Daniel, but pretty quick anyway. 133.21 is the fastest time so far. So I think I said yesterday, by the way, for the heats, there were two days ago on Tuesday. They've had a day's rest. But they've got a very hard night's work tonight with three rounds. So Jasper found this very hard indeed. He made a slight mistake on one of the bends where he was in contention, went wide. And Lee of Korea and Dagna of Canada come through to qualify.
hugging the uh, bends very tightly indeed. Canadian didn't have to press it, knew he was going to qualify. So they're into the semi finals later. People's Republic of China. It was the worst possible draw for Matt Jasper. Number 11. Frederick Blackburn, Canada. Canada. Numero 30, Willie O'Reilly. And uh, Will Ferrari's out on the ice already. European champion, champion of the world, double gold medal winner in the Calgary Games when this was a demonstration sport. Very composed, organized athlete. Knows how to prepare himself mentally. Bob Copeman, his coach, is uh, watching back in London with Des Lynham. Number 11, Freddie uh, Blackburn, only 19 from Canada. Looked impressive in the heats. Will Ferrari, member of the Mohawks Club. He's 27. Number 18, Etchoff. The only entrant from the uh, unified team. He's 21. Comes from Gorky. And O'Reilly is drawn on the inside. Next to him is De Reuter, the man we haven't seen from Belgium. Then Erchoff, nearest the camera, Ready. Blackburn of Canada. Thousand metres, the second quarter final, and O'Reilly straight in front. Nine laps of the track. O'Reilly leads. Etchoff in second place. De Reuter is third. Blackburn of Canada in fourth place. And they're not going to let O'Reilly dictate the pace. It's De Reuter now who leads. Blackburn in second place for Canada. O'Reilly third. Etchoff fourth. Seven laps to go. The tall Belgian in front. Then the Canadian, who was very impressive yes, uh, two days ago. O'Reilly in third place, looking very relaxed. The first two qualify. Etchoff who only qualified because uh, someone else was disqualified for pushing and bumping and boring. De Reuter, the leader. Blackman in second place, O'Reilly making no move yet. Looks to be slightly slower than the first one, but uh, with four laps to go, they'll surely uh, start to attack now. It's De Reuter leading, and there O'Reilly goes! O'Reilly on the inside with a dramatic change of pace. Came from third to first and made it look easy. O'Reilly leads. Blackman of Canada in second place. Etchoff, the unified team, is third. And De Reuter in fourth place. Two laps to go. O'Reilly, champion of the world, champion of Europe, is in front. Blackman of Canada second. Etchoff, unified team, third. De Reuter in fourth place. There's the bell. Less than 100 metres to go. And O'Reilly is making this race his own. He's making qualifying look very, very easy indeed. O'Reilly wins, Blackburn second, 133.65. Fast time, a very, very organised piece of skating. He's hardly blowing. He actually ran the race in the sense that he organised himself totally. He saw the space, and when he was uh, in a position to attack, he took advantage and was good enough to get there. He came from third to first so in that moment. And then just sorted the race out from the front. Blackman, the second qualifier in second place. But that was a dramatic change of pace by O'Reilly. And that's the key to his success. He's a beautifully balanced athlete, too. So O'Reilly into the uh, semi final, along with Freddie Blackburn, the 19 years old Canadian. Numero Who's made a big impression Mike here? New Zealand. So the qualifiers so far: Lee of Korea, Dania of Canada, O'Reilly of Great Britain, Blackburn of Canada. This the draw for the next one. Macmillan fourth in the World Championships in 1991. The tall New Zealander, very impressive yesterday. Won his heat, attacked very early with the third fastest time of the day. A lot of people thought he was a bit lucky to be fourth in the World Championships last year, but he's shown he wasn't. Kim of Korea, the world champion at 89 at this distance. He's also the world champion at the moment at 500 metres and 3,000 metres. That's uh, Velzibor from Holland, Mark Velzibor. 
His sister is uh, Wilfer Riley's girlfriend. And that's uh, Liani Lai of China, the youngest man in the competition, only 17. Second to O'Reilly in the first qualifying heat two days ago. Well, Mike McMillan with time to spare to smile at his uh, teammates. Kim Hoon Kim. The first two go through. It's going to be a pretty tense evening all round with uh, quarterfinals, semi finals, and final. Gold and one night. Kim drawn on the inside, then Macmillan in two. In three, Belzebor, and then Lie of China. Ready. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think, a little unsettled. Come on. Kim's away very quickly for Korea. It's Kim of Korea, Macmillan of New Zealand in second place. The Chinese Lai going up on the outside and takes the lead. Lai leads the 17-year-old. Kim in second place. Kim making an attack and takes first place back. Belzebor goes into second place. And coming up on the outside is Macmillan. He attacked uh, in the first round from a long way out. He's very confident indeed. Although he's got there, he's just gliding at the moment. Six laps to go. Macmillan leads. Lai in second place. Belsey Ball third. Going up alongside him is the Chinese. And they're beginning to wind it up now. Macmillan leading. Kim in second place. Belsey Ball third. Lai is fourth. The first two qualify. Three laps to go when they pass the finishing line this time. Still Macmillan in front. He's a very aggressive skater. Very tall for a short track skater, but very effective. They went very wide there. They were almost let into Korean, but they've opened up a gap now on Belzebor. The bell this time, and they've got a very healthy gap indeed. Macmillan in front. The Korean Kim in second place. And these two will qualify. Lion Belzebor go out. 132.79, the fastest time clocked in these Olympic Championships so far. Macmillan is a very aggressive skater indeed. Perhaps the ideal build on short track is to be a little bit squat. A bit like Wilf Riley, about 5'7 uh, and just over 10 stones. But uh, this man contradicts that. He's very tall, he's very aggressive, and he's very good. And that fourth in the World Championship was no accident, obviously. So, Cross the line together. So that's Macmillan and Kim through to the semi-finals. To the start, please. Number six. And we come to the uh, fourth quarterfinal. Number six is Blanchon of Belgium, Italy. European champion of 1500 meters. It's Mark Lackey of Canada, won the 500 here in the pre Olympic Games warm up. Ernhoff of Italy. First time yesterday. Inside 134. And Kawasaki of Japan. The world record holder at this distance. 131.80. Set in 1990. When he was the, became the world champion. Come on, Canada. The cry. The Canadians with Danio through and Blackburn through already, so they've got two through of their three skaters. Ready. 
Good start on the inside by Blanchard. Holds the uh, lead on the band. Canadian uh, looking for space. Mark Lackey. That's Ernhoff now of Italy who's taking the lead. And off please, Blanchard in second place. Lackey goes up on the inside like Wilf O'Reilly and takes the lead. So it's Mark Lackey now looking to become the third Canadian into the semi finals. Lackey leads. Ernhoff in second place. Blanchard is third. Tactical race this one. Now Saki back in fourth place. Lackey just left room there for Blanchard, and Blanchard took advantage. The Belgium in front, the Canadian second, the Italian third, the Japanese in fourth place. The pace stepping up all the time. Mark Lackey, 24. The 89 world champion at 500 metres. Skittles, one of the markers, out of line. And it's replaced, but Lackey's got a good lead now. Three laps to go, Blanchard in second place. And the Japanese Kawasaki, the world record holder, is in trouble. Two to go, two to qualify. Lackey leads, Blanchard second. Ernhoff third, the Italian. And Kawasaki trying to get back in the race. Here's the bell, still Lackey in front. Blanchard in second place. They look like the qualifiers. Ernhoff of Italy trying to attack. Can he find room? And no, he can't. Lackey wins, Blanchard second. 134-71. The early pace was slow. It stepped up for the two qualifiers, Lackey and Blanchon. And the Canadians, so, so strong. They've now got three through into the semi-finals. Britain with one, Wolf O'Reilly. Jasper with what can only be described as an almost impossible draw. Lackey in trouble there. Blanchon on the inside. Powerful figure. So, Mark Lucky. Been an international for five years, so he knows his way around. And Lucky wins it. Blanchard in second place. Celebrates qualifying. And the semi finals follow. All sorts of uh, painted faces around the place and also uh, fancy dress. It's a bit of a festival atmosphere. This, of course, the first time short track has been held in the Olympic Games. But we now know that Wilfred Raleigh, the man who uh, won this event when it was a demonstration of sport for Great Britain four years ago, is in the last eight. The judge for the competition is... The referee for the ladies' competition is... Monsieur Michel Véro, Canada. Canada. Next event will be the women's relay over 3,000 meters. And the team is just about to be introduced. And the uh, relay is a real roller derby event. They can change when they like. Most teams change every lap. And in this, we've got Canada, Italy, Holland, and the United States. Get ready to go to the heat box. Les équipes, the world record the held by Italy, the team, the set in 1988 at 4 minutes 45.88. République Populaire de Chine, People's Democratic Republic of China, et du Japon. and Japan. And just announcing the draw order, and France, of course, getting a tremendous cheer from the local supporters. They go in the second semi final. Canada uh, in this one have got a tremendous record. They've won the World Championship for the last three years 89, 90, and 91. One of the Italians, number 31, is uh, Colturi. And when you're watching this, uh, it's important to concentrate on the skaters on the outside 
because you'll find the uh, next one waiting to take over is skating alongside on the inside to get up speed. The Mexican wave going around this uh, arena, which holds uh, about 9,000 people. I should think there are about uh, 7,000 here at the moment. Dutch team very strong. But they go in the second uh, semi-final. So, what they're doing at the moment is taking advantage of the uh, chance to have a thorough warm-up. So, all eight teams on the ice. In the second semi-final, we've got the unified team. France, the People's Republic of China, and Japan. The first two in each uh, semi-final are going to the final, which is the last event tonight. Incidentally, the men's semi-finals, if they run to time in the 1,000 metres, is due to start at six minutes past seven. So there's not much rest for them. And the final itself will take place, according to the uh, strict timetable laid on here, at 36 minutes past seven. Confirmation of the order. It's the Italian team having a last minute discussion. 29, Canclini, the overall European champion. 32 is La Torre. 30 is Candido. And 34, Schiella. Number 46 is Simone Velzibor, one of the two sisters in the Dutch team. Actually, they are drawn in this first semi-final. I thought for a moment they were in the second semi-final. They're not. <coughs> so the rink's been cleared now. We've got the four teams almost ready. 45, Monique Velzibor, the number one skater of Haaland. <coughs> Natalie Lambert for Canada. Wearing number eight. They're the favourites. So as they line up, it's Canada on the inside, then Italy, Go to the top. United States of America, and Holland nearest the camera. Ready. Most of them change every lap, some at a lap and a half. They can go as long as they want, though, without changing, but obviously it's uh, advantageous to take a quick breather. Please. And Courtswell is the lead-off girl for Holland on the other side. So we've got 27 laps to go. Holland lead at the moment. Canada in second place. The change over here, a quick shove. And the Americans went down then. And so Canada lead at the moment. Kathy Turner was the American with a problem, but Holland now come through into first place. Canada take over there, but uh, Holland stay in front. Still the Dutch in front. Number 46, Simone Velzibor. Number eight for Canada is Lambert. The Canadians with the push start there, take the lead. This is Sylvie Daigle, the world record holder at 500 metres, but knocked out of the first round two days ago. Canada lead, Holland in second place. Number 43 there is Ernst for Holland. Canadians changing every lap and a half. Number nine for them is uh, Piero. 
And the five get, takes over. Kutra. And 44 for Holland. Van Kortsveld. But Canada building up their lead. Canada lead. Holland in second place. And closing fast now. We've got the United States of America in spite of that slip by Kathy Turner. Good leg there by America. And it's uh, Ziegelmeyer now for America in third place, trying to close the gap. But the Canadians have opened up uh, three or four metre lead. Monique Belzebul, the top Holl Dutch girl now, goes up into second place. Very, very close indeed. And the next Dutch girl is 46, Simone Velzebor, her sister. But Canada still in front. Holland in second place. United States third. Italy a long way back in fourth place. Number five for Canada. Gutrone. Still Canada leading. Coming round with 14 laps to go. It's very close. Lambert is number eight in front. 43 is Ernst now for Holland. have lost it she skidded into the barrier and Holland in real trouble one of the favorites for the gold medal and they're now back in fourth place total disaster and there was no reason for it Canada now with a very comfortable lead indeed United States in second place Italy a third and Holland more than half a lap back in fourth place well, that's really opened it up now. It makes it fairly simple for the lead two to qualify. They needn't take risks. And the Dutch are going to be so disappointed. Canadian number five is uh, Catrone. Coming around with nine laps to go. The Americans have closed right up. Number 50 for them. Donal. Closing all the time on Canada, but I think Canada are taking it fairly easily. Italy in third place, and they're almost half a lap behind the uh, Canadian leaders, and the Dutch more than half a lap behind. Sylvie Daigle, the world record holder of 500 metres, hands on to number nine, Pedro. And the American is Peterson, Amy Peterson, who's taking over. They're closing on the Canadians all the time. But really, it's quite an important because the first two are so far away now after the Dutch fell that they can take it easy with the final to come later on tonight. Three laps left. Lambert for Canada. Lambert handing on now to Sylvie Daigle. And this is just about an hour of cruising home with one lap to go. Canada and the United States sure to be the two qualifiers. Holland have got into third place, showing their potential now, but they lost it with that fall. 442-08. Holland finished third, Italy four. The two qualifiers, Canada and the United States. The world record held by Italy at 445.88. And we've just seen the Canadians and the Americans, I suspect, break that world record. 442.08, the final time, a new world record for Canada and I suspect the Americans in second place also cracked the old world record. I suppose the people in it knew what was going on there. Take some explaining that one, though. Now, the point is this, that uh, Wilf O'Reilly is through to the semi-finals of the men's individual short track speed skating. We'll be going live for it shortly. Let's show you first, though, in case you've just got in, how Matt Jasper failed to get that far in his heat. Oh, and uh, Jasper got a very good start from the outside, but straight away it's Danio, the Canadian who goes in front. Jasper's lost his place, back in fourth place now. Danio leads. Coming up on the outside is the Japanese, going very fast indeed, Ishihara. This is going to be a quick one, they're really setting a pace right from the start. Ishihara leads, Danio in second place. Then Lee, 
of Korea and Jasper right on the outside trying to look for space close back in the band there but can't find a way through Ishihara in front with six to go coming up in the outside now is Lee the Korean just chops the Japanese slightly Daniel Fernroon on the inside he goes into second place and Jasper looking for room on the inside has he got it yes he has he's got into third place now and number 39 Ishihara the world record holder at 3,000 meters is trailing at the moment. Lee of Korea leading. Danio in second place. Jasper Great Britain third. The first two qualify. Three to go. And it's still Lee of Korea in front. Danio in second place. Jasper, oh, he missed it on that bend. He went very, very wide indeed. And surely he's lost his chance of qualifying. Lee of Korea leading. Danio in second place.